Hello and welcome back to a chapter today. It is Thursday and it's May, I'm sorry, it is June the 27th. And we will be reading Deuteronomy chapter 12. Today is also my granddaughter's first birthday. Yay! Happy birthday, Samira, precious baby girl. So, we are going to be reading more about Moses's um, recalling of past events of the children of Israel. Remember, he's about to lead them while they go forward into the promised land because God is not going to allow him to go in. But he's telling them, hey, remember, remember, remember all the times God has led us through. Remember every time that you did wrong and you went against God, you apostatized and you forgot God what happened. If you keep with God, you will be blessed. If you turn away from God, curses will fall upon you. So let's see. These are the statutes and judgments which you shall observe to do in the land which the Lord God of thy fathers giveth thee to possess it. All the days that you live upon the earth, you shall utterly destroy all the places wherein the nations which you shall possess serve their gods, upon the high mountains and upon the hills and under every green tree. And you shall overthrow their altars, and break their pillars, and burn their groves with fire. And you shall hew down the, gro the graven images of their gods, and destroy the names of them out of that place. You shall not do so unto the Lord your God, but unto the place which the Lord your God shall choose out of all your tribes, to put his name there, even unto his habitation shall you seek and thither thou shalt come, and thither you shall bring your burnt offerings, and your sacrifices, and your tithes, and heave offerings of your hand, and your vows, and your freewill offerings, and the firstlings of your herds, and of your flocks. And there you shall eat before the Lord your God, and you shall rejoice in all that you put your hand onto, you and your households, wherein the Lord thy God has blessed thee. You shall not do after all the things that we do here this day, every man whatsoever is right in his own eyes. For you are not as yet come to the rest and to the inheritance which the Lord your God giveth you. But when you go over Jordan and dwell in the land which the Lord your God giveth you to inherit, and when he giveth you rest from your enemies round about, so that you dwell in safety, then there shall be a place which the Lord your God shall choose to cause his name to dwell there. Thither shall you bring all that I command you, your burnt offerings and your sacrifices, your tithes and the heave offering of your hand, and all your choice vows which you vow unto the Lord. And you shall rejoice before the Lord your God, Ye and your sons and your daughters and your men servants and your maid servants and the Levite that is within your gates, for as much as he hath no part nor inheritance with you, take heed to thyself that thou offer, offer not thy burnt offerings in every place that thou seest, but in the place which the Lord shall choose in one of thy tribes. There thou shalt offer thy burnt offerings, and there thou shalt do all that I command thee. Notwithstanding, thou mayest kill and eat flesh in all thy gates. Whatsoever thy soul lusteth after, according to the blessing of the Lord thy God, which he has given thee, the, clean, the unclean and the clean may eat thereof, as of the roebuck and as of the heart. Only you shall not eat the blood, you shall pour it upon the earth as water. Thou mayest not eat within thy gates the tithe of thy corn, or of thy wine, or of thy oil, or the firstlings of thy herds, or of any flock, nor any of thy vows which thou vowest, nor thy freewill offering, or heave offering of thy hand. But thou must eat them before the Lord thy God in the place which the Lord thy God shall choose, thou and thy son and thy daughter and thy manservant and thy maidservant and the Levite that is within thy gates. And thou shalt rejoice before the Lord thy God 
in all that thou puttest thine hands unto. Take heed to thyself that thou forsake not the Levite as long as thou livest upon the earth. When the Lord thy God shall enlarge thy border as he has promised thee, and thou shalt say, I will eat flesh because thy soul longeth to eat flesh. Thou mayest eat flesh whatsoever thy soul lusteth after. If the place which the Lord thy God has chosen to put his name there be too far from thee, then thou shalt kill of thy herd and of thy flock, which the Lord has given thee, as I have commanded thee, and thou shalt eat in thy gates, and thou shalt eat whatsoever thy soul lusteth after. Even as the roebuck and the heart is eaten, so thou shalt eat them. The clean, the unclean, and the clean shall eat of them alike. Only be sure that thou eat not the blood, for the blood is the life, and thou mayest not eat the life with the flesh. Thou shalt not eat it, thou shalt pour it upon the earth as water. Thou shalt not eat it, that it may go well with thee, and with thy children after thee, when thou shalt do that which is right in the sight of the Lord. Only the holy things which thou hast, and thy vows thou shalt take, and go unto the place which the Lord shall choose. And thou shalt offer thy burnt offerings, the flesh and the blood, upon the altar of the Lord thy God. And the blood of thy sacrifices shall be poured out upon the altar of the Lord thy God, and thou shalt eat the flesh. Observe and hear all these words which I command thee, that it may go well with thee and with thy children after thee forever. When thou doest that which is good and right in the sight of the Lord thy God, when the Lord thy God shall cut off the nations from before thee, whither thou goest to possess them, and thou succeedest them, and dwellest in their land. Take heed to thyself, that thou be not snared by following them. After that, that they be destroyed, after that they be destroyed from before thee, and that thou inquire not after their gods, saying, How did these nations serve their gods? Even so will I do likewise. Thou shalt not do so unto the Lord thy God, for every abomination to the Lord, which he hateth, have they done unto their gods. For even thy sons and their daughters, their sons and their daughters, they have burnt in the fire to their gods. What things soever I command you, observe to do it. Thou shalt not add thereto, nor diminish from it. And that is the end of chapter 12 of Deuteronomy. Again, there are some verses that seem to be a bit controversial here as opposed to what God gave earlier or previously in um, Exodus when he told them about the clean and the unclean animals. Because here he's saying um, the clean and the unclean may eat thereof. Now I'm not sure if he's saying they are to be eaten because it doesn't word that way. It says the unclean and the clean may eat thereof as the roebuck and as of the heart. Um, I'm not quite sure. Um, just that only you shall not eat the blood. So, and it was repeated again um, further on. Thou mayest eat flesh whatsoever thy soul lusteth after. The unclean and the clean shall eat of them alike. Hmm. Even as the roebuck and the heart is eaten, so thou shalt eat them. Okay. God only knows. I know today people eat whatever they wish, <laughs> but I don't know. I still believe in eating what God has labeled as clean from the beginning and refraining from anything else. So, again, Moses is telling them, in a nutshell, choose you this day. Serve God or serve man. So, follow after the pagans. Which one is going to bring you blessings? It's going to be from God. And anything else, you're going to be cursed. So, it's the same thing for us even today. Choose ye, God or man. Which one is going to bring you a blessing? you decide. 
So that's it for our reading for today. Remember, faith comes by hearing God's word. So until our next reading, have a great day. Bye.